Hello everybody and welcome back to the Silver Story Author. Man, we're uh, we're getting up there. Not really. This is only the the second time that I am doing a Therapeutic Thursday. But for today we have a uh, another special Therapeutic Thursday. Last one was one I worked on a little longer. So this one might be a little shorter. Um, but I just wanted to uh, start this off and give a little announcement. Um, I am going to be taking a month away from social media. Um, you will still be able to message me. Um, I might not respond, and it is nothing personal. I know I have some people from the Telegram group in here, and I have some people that follow me on Instagram. So I will be posting my videos, but you will not be finding updates for the next month, because I kind of want to give myself uh, time to, I guess, be me. Um, and social media can be very draining, as something a lot of us know, and I think that it's important to take a step away from that stuff sometimes. And so today, I have brought you all a, uh, a piece that I actually just now titled, amazing as that is. So this piece is called The Root of a Monster in a Field of Humanity. Now, strap yourselves in, smoke a little weed, do whatever you need to do to feel relaxed, and let's get started. What am? Am I just another unnecessarily aggressive drone-like person? One among the many that believes that everything is black and white, but refuses to accept that both possibilities can coexist. No, I don't believe so. For I never once believed the world only existed in the absence of substance or color. As someone growing up different, my existence always existed in a moral gray area of because he struggles to communicate, he's not worth our time, and because he's awkward and isolated, he's easy to use and pin accusations on like a human voodoo doll. Neither are good outcomes, but the world only cares about the proverbial normal population. Growing up being made to feel nigh-human, you start to question what it means to be human. In a world full of normalized mass killings, hateful nobodies utilizing anger to stroke their egos and wallets, you start to realize how little humanity or normality actually mean. You ever exist in a room with hundreds of people, all having different conversations at once? It's overwhelming, and you feel like a speck of dirt in a large field of grass. But if you find a single conversation you can actually partake in, and you try to engage, the whole room goes quiet and listens to you. Not out of empathy or actual interest in what you're saying, but out of desire to never have you speak again. We live our lives so that we can speak up and fight to be heard by a few, or we stay silent and get killed by the words of many. We are made to believe that we will never grow into anything, that we are and will always be dirt for others to step on. We neglect ourselves and fail to see what we could grow into. A patch of dirt with nothing is a space of endless potential, far more than one among millions of blades of grass. I once believed that only I could exist in the space I occupy. I have shed countless tears and wallowed in the cheers of those that want me dead. A whole asylum of nutcases with keyboards that watch for my every mistake, like a junkie waiting for their next fix. This deceivingly beautiful field was created atop the corpses created from self-righteous judgment. If what is seen as normal or human is to water your success with the blood of others, then I will never be human. I will gladly live as a weird monster, and rich in my space with my own tears, blood, and suffering. My branches now sprout and reach towards the future, without you or anyone. I don't know everything. I have made and will continue to make many mistakes. Every great tree has scars and loose bark, but they still provide you shade and a reprieve from the rain. You can forsake me, try to burn me down, or uproot my life. But you will never get me to forsake myself again, and you will never get me to leave the ground that has supported me all this time. I will never be like you, and I will never be one among many. Thank you for tuning in to this uh, Therapeutic Thursday. Um, I feel like that I want to put a little more 
into this one because I, I went through two different renditions before I shared this. Um, and just want to say to anyone who's, you know, writing out there, you know, new writer, experienced writer, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to be different. You know, we all have our own unique stories to tell, and even if the world tries to make us feel like we should regret being different, you know, even if we make a mistake and in this day and era they blast it everywhere and whatnot, we don't owe anyone an explanation. As long as we ourselves can make that mistake and be better the next day, we can continue to grow into something we find beautiful. And if we find our lives beautiful, if we find our own way to grow, then who cares what anyone else thinks? And I hope you'll keep that in mind whenever you associate with anybody, that we all grow differently, and there's no shame in being different. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to tune in for Spooky Saturdays. This one I have a very special one planned that is going to be... I even got goosebumps thinking of the idea. I will tell you all the title, but you will have to find out what is it about when it comes Saturday. Keep an eye out Saturday for The Wax Man, and I hope to see you all there when we share some more stories and you listen to me reading to you. Thank you all, and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Anything will help the algorithm realize that, yes, I do exist in this place, and hopefully we can continue to manifest more stories in the future. Thank you very much, and have a great night, day, or whatever time it is, and remember to stay true to yourself.